What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another Highly Bus Reaction. We're going to be jumping into another new artist to the channel, Boz Lerman. Everybody's free to wear sunscreen. I don't wear sunscreen. Straight up off. I don't. I think it's nasty. I think it blocks some kind of good things that the sun might give you. I don't know. I don't like the greasiness of it. There's a whole bunch of reasons why I don't wear it. I've never needed it. I burn, and thanks to my beautifully Portuguese blood, by the end of the day, I am brown. It is nice. It is it's how I get tan, as I go out and I get burnt, and I wait for it to turn tan. It's always been my way. I don't like sunscreen, but we're going to jump in. We're going to check it out. Let's see. Let's see what it's all about. Maybe it's some kind of a... It says VH1, so I think it's a song, but I've never heard no song called Everyone free to wear sunscreen uh let's jump into it coming at us via donation from benno much much love i do appreciate it let's go ladies and gentlemen of the class of 99 wear sunscreen if i could offer you only one tip for the future sunscreen would be it the long-term benefits of sunscreen have been proved by scientists whereas the rest of my advice has no basis more reliable than my own meandering experience. Hold on, he's gonna give us either some reasons that he's figured out throughout life that he could wear, that he needed to wear sunscreen, or he's gonna go completely against the advice of everybody that's telling you to wear sunscreen, and he's gonna be like me. He's gonna be an anti-sunscreener. Let's go. No basis more reliable than my own meandering experience. I will dispense this advice now. <laughs> Enjoy the power and beauty of your youth. Oh, never mind. You will not understand the power and beauty of your youth until they fade it. But trust me, in 20 years, you look back at photos of yourself and recall in a way you can't grasp now how much possibility lay before you and how fabulous you really looked. You are not as fat as you imagine. Don't worry about the future. Or worry, but know that worrying is as effective as trying to solve an algebra equation by chewing bubblegum. <laughs> okay, this whole damn thing is going to be absolutely out there. Ridiculous, but hilarious. Let's go. Hey, don't be trying to... Don't uh, worry about the future. Stop worrying, ain't worry, no point. But know that That's what it means. This is effective as trying to solve an algebra equation by chewing bubble. It's not gonna happen. It's, you're not gonna solve real it. Real troubles in your life are apt to be things that never crossed your worried mind. The kind that blindsides you at 4 p.m. on some idle Tuesday. Do one thing every day that scares you. Why? Sing. Yes. Don't be reckless with other people's hearts. Don't put up with people who are reckless with yours. Floss. Don't waste your time on... Flossing. Let's talk about flossing. I disagree with him there. Because flossing hurts. I don't know if you floss a lot. I used to floss a lot. And no matter how many times you do it, it hurts. Until you build up some kind of a scar tissue on your gums. Because your gums are not meant to be rubbed with that kind of little thin thing. Way down deep in between your teeth. There's other ways to do it. Water picks. Brush your teeth the right way. Use some mouthwash. Like, nah, I don't floss. I'm not into it. If there's some stuck in your teeth, by all means, get one of those little picks with a flossy end. Finished. You ain't got to do it all the time. Dennis has never told me I had a problem with plaque on my teeth, and I don't floss. So, I don't, I don't believe him there. Don't floss. What's happened? How, we do, how do we mute ourselves? No, we're not. No, we're not. With other people's hearts. Don't put up with people who are reckless with yours. That's facts. Floss. No. Don't waste your time on jealousy. Sometimes you're ahead. Sometimes you're behind. This man is full of you. knowledge. And in the end, it's only with yourself. Remember compliments you receive. Forget the insults. Remember the compliments. Forget the insults. If he's not speaking some of the most... Factual knowledge ever. I'm telling you, listen to what he's got to say. Everything that he said so far has been truth. It doesn't matter what they tell you to do, what everybody in society tells you to do. Like, figure these things out. Listen. Remember the good stuff. Forget the bad stuff. It doesn't matter. It doesn't deserve a place on the shelf of your life. It doesn't. Remember compliments you receive. Forget the insults. 
you succeed in doing this, tell me how. Keep your old love letters. Throw away your old bank statements. I like that. Stretch. Don't feel guilty if you don't know what you want to do with your life. The most interesting people I know didn't know at 22 what they wanted to do with their lives. Some of the most interesting 40-year-olds I know still don't. You don't ever have to know what you want to be when you grow up. That should be your goals and your ambitions and your your dreams should always be changing, should always be growing, should always be multiplying. Sometimes they're not going to stay the same. Maybe if that goal is along the way and it's in the same path, like, but I don't know very many people that grew up wanting to be something that actually did it. There's a few out there. Don't get me wrong. They're out, they do exist. But there's also a lot of people that have wanted to do something and either having a kid, having to get some real adult responsibilities in your life, like a lot of things. Life just throws you curveballs sometimes and you don't get there. And then they spend forever regretting that they never got there. It's a horrible, horrible thing. Some of the most interesting 40-year-olds I know still don't. Doesn't matter. Have plenty of calcium. Be kind to your needs. You'll miss them when they're gone. <laughs> maybe you'll marry. Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll have children. Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll divorce at 40. Maybe you'll dance the funky chicken on your 75th wedding anniversary. Whatever you do, don't congratulate yourself too much or berate yourself either. Your choices are half chance. So are everybody else's. Yeah. Everything Enjoy you do body. is half chance. Use it every way you can. Don't be afraid of it or what other people think of it. It's the greatest instrument you'll ever own. Dance. Even if you have nowhere to do it but in your own living room. Read the directions, even if you don't follow them. Do not read beauty magazines. They will only make you feel ugly. We need to play that one back. Listen to the words, men, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, listen, listen. Stop reading the beauty magazine. Stop watching the beauty channel. Stop looking at all this stuff. All it does is make you feel ugly. Nowhere to do it but in your own living room. Read the directions, even if you don't follow Listen them. Listen to them. Do not read beauty magazines. They will only make you feel Facts. ugly. Get to know your parents. You never know when they'll be gone for good. Be nice to your siblings. They're your best link to your past and the people most likely to stick with you in the future. Understand that friends come and go, but with a precious few, you should hold on. Work hard to bridge the gaps in geography and lifestyle, because the older you get, the more you need the people you knew when you were young. The older you get, the more you need the people you knew when you were young. That goes right back to the thing he said about siblings. They're your closest link, your closest connection to your past. They can rem Siblings remember things that other siblings don't. And then they can fill them in and be like, hey, remember this? Well, sometimes one little mention could jot a whole trip down memory lane that you done forgot about. My brothers and I always bring things up that the other ones were like, whoa, I totally forgot about that, but you're right. And then you got those memories back. The same thing goes with some of them friends that you should keep around. The same thing goes with any, any kind of those links to the past is what you need. You got to have people that were there. The way you said, the older you get, the more important it is to have people that were there when you were younger. Those are your long time forever people. You get it. The more you need the people you knew when you were young. Live in New York City once, but leave before it makes you hard. Live in Northern California once, but leave before it makes you soft. Did it. Travel. Got out. Accept certain inalienable truths. Prices will rise. Politicians will philander. You too will get old. And when you do, you'll fantasize that when you were young, Prices were reasonable, politicians were noble, and children respected their elders. Respect your elders. Don't expect anyone else to support you. Maybe you have a trust fund. Maybe you'll have a wealthy spouse. But you never know when either one might run out. 
Don't mess too much with your hair, or by the time you're 40, it will look 85. Be careful whose advice you buy, but be patient with those who supply it. Advice is a form of nostalgia. Dispensing it is a way of fishing the past from the disposal, wiping it off, painting over the ugly parts, and recycling it for more than it's worth. But trust me, on the sunscreen. But trust Lady. me on the sunscreen. Believe the sunscreen thing, but don't believe any of the rest of that stuff. Cause I told you because it just came from life experience. Hey, I've had a lot of similar life experience. And I'm telling you that the, what the man said right there was nothing but facts. I actually really needed that today because I've been... With everything that's going on with the channel, I've been a little bit up and down myself in the motivation department. I've been more demotivated than I have since I started the channel, which it sucks because I have a whole community of people out there that look that that look for, that look forward to hearing from me, that look forward to advice from me, that look forward to all of that from me, and. Building that was one of the hardest things that we've done ever. And so we did it, and now it's up and down with the copyrights. We don't know what's going to happen there. So we might end up having to start over again, and that's... It kills you a little bit. It really does. Like, just kind of destroys any motivation that you have. But then at the same time, I know I have to stay motivated because I'm not that kind of person that's going to let that stop me. I will start anew. I will build again, just like I have done throughout all of the other times in my life where I got to the top of the mountain and tumbled back down to the bottom. But I got you guys here that now. Uh, definitely a lot of facts in that video. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you dislike it, hit the dislike button. Go show the original poster some love. We've already subbed up. Steffi Webby 777 Go show her some love. Uh, check out one of the other videos up there. Subscribe right here if you want to see more content, possibly your content. Until the next one, I'm highly combustible. You guys be happy, healthy, safe. I love you to the moon and back. Peace.